Today we are going to begin reading The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. This is our first class novel that we're going to be reading together in second semester, and our end in mind is to complete this novel in preparation for the literary essay that we are going to be writing about this novel. So today what I would like for you to have is your ELA notebook in front of you as we introduce this book, and I would also like for you to have a copy of this book in front of you as well. A few important things to know about this book is that it is in the genre of historical fiction. This book takes place in the Nazi Germany era. It's literally set right during the time and the place of the Holocaust. So it's a very hard time in history that we are going to be reading about as we read through um, the story. The main character in this book is Bruno. He's nine years old, and we pick up the story when he finds out that he is moving from his safe home to a home out in the boondocks. Um, and the home actually ends up being right outside of Auschwitz, um, one of the most famous, sadly, concentration camps ever in the history of the Holocaust. What is so powerful about this story is that one of the most horrific um, times in our world's history is happening during this story. But what's odd is that this horrific time is being told and narrated through the eyes and the mind of a nine-year-old boy. So you're going to find one theme um, as you read through the story is, is Bruno simply just trying to make sense of his world and what's going on around him and what's happening and why people are coming and going and why some people go and never come back. And so I want you to pay attention to the things that Bruno misses um, that you might pick up on. Bruno, you're going to find maybe thinking through a situation that's happening in the book and because you know the background knowledge of the Holocaust and the concentration camps, you're going to be able to put two and two together before Bruno does. And so pay attention to moments like that in the story because I think that there's going to be power there and I think that those are going to be the moments that are going to be worth writing about in your literary essay. So let's talk about some of the logistics of reading this book. You are going to have until February 25th to read this book. We will have carved out time during our lessons to read. Um, the 25th is a due date for having the book done. And it's good, this is supposed to be a G, it is good for us to begin practicing being proactive and planning ahead. If you are noticing that you need more time outside of the allotted time that we have in class, then it is going to be your job to plan accordingly. That's kind of what middle school ELA is all about. It's figuring out what do I need less of? What do I need more of? How can I structure my time? And so this may mean, guys, that reading after school on the weekends and for sure during our February break week is going to be something that's necessary for you. We don't really have homework in ELA here at Academy Global. We do our work during the day. But this reading of this book, in order to meet this deadline here that we were talking about, um, you just might have to plan accordingly and give some time outside of our school day to make sure you finish this book. So now it's time to read. You are going to read for the rest of your time here in ELA. When you're done reading, you're going to do a discussion board post about your initial reactions to the story. So now it's time for you to go ahead, get started, and I can't wait to see what you think. See you soon.